Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity. I hope everyone's going to have an absolutely awesome day today and I'm up with a DIY art bin design team all. So I'm just going to go straight in and show you. Right from memory I think this one is a vintage snow lady with a snow baby and that is really really sweet so I've got that one and then I believe this is a vintage lady in her uh, stripy Christmas skirt I think this is red and white stripe like candy and then you've got like the little bits of ermine the fur that trim obviously this bit here that's where that bit fits and then you've got her little face and trying to think if she's wearing a bonnet I think those are the cuffs and I think that is the hair piece that fits onto there I can see her little feet there so that requires closer inspection and obviously to be made and then we've got this one and that looks like another cup to me cups are very trendy this year and that looks like a Santa Claus cup and I think he might have marshmallows on his head and I may be completely wrong, but I think that that is the handle of the cup. And I, I do hope I'm not all blurred here. There we go. And there's also a lovely little snowflake. So I've got that one. And then I've got this one. And this is a pair of mittens, if I hold it that way around, that is holding a little gingerbread man. And I really love that one. So I think I'm going to make that one tomorrow. So I'm starting a tomorrow pile. So I'm going to put that one there. And also a really cute vintage style Christmas lantern with little birdies. And there's a bow. That is absolutely gorgeous. That is really lovely. And that's a great size. Now, I'm not sure whether the birds probably sit on there, so I'm going to need to make this before I measure it. But the lantern on its own is lovely. And uh, you could just put acetate behind that, and that would look fabulous. And then I've got a halloween -y, And this one's really cute. Look, we've got a ghosty, And it's got antlers. I don't think I've ever seen a ghost with antlers before. So I think that one's going to be interesting to make. And then we've got lots of little bats and these might be eyes and things but I think this is the moon so we've got the ghost we've got the moon and it's got little antlers and there's a cute little spider but that's quite unusual so I'll be making that one before the end of the week I will be up for the rest of the week with DIY art bin and then we've got a candy set and of course they're always useful and I think I saw these on the web page and they're red and white candies so they're like peppermint stripes and swirls. And you've got a couple of little bows there too. And then we get to a vintage lady. And there's lots of what looks like lacy frilly bits here. So I'm thinking these trim off certain parts of the skirt. And we've got a couple of Christmas bells. We've got what looks like a bow. And then we've got the little face. Get my hand under there. And then we've got the hair. So that's another one that needs to be put together. But I do love the vintage lady dies. And then we've got a really cute cat. Christmas cat, cup again. And I think I saw this and it's got a peppermint stripe handle. And I'm all blurred. Weather's all over the place. There we go. And you've got that gorgeous knitted um, section that goes onto the front of the cup. But there's our little kitty cat that's got a Santa hat. And that is the saucer. So that one looks really easy to make. Really like the look of that. And then another cup again. And this one looks like um, either a gnome or a Santa. And then we've got the cute little gingerbread. And I'm not sure what these are. I think they might be candies. All different types of candy. So I think that's a cinnamon stick. So I think we need to make that one. And uh, there's the swirl. Yeah, that's a lollipop. So the swirly bit goes on top of the lollipop. And then that's the heart that fits into there. 
so that's another one that needs to be made so that we can see it and then we've got an angel well I'm looking at this and I'm thinking yesterday if you remember I cut the uh, big lace panel and this one looks quite tall with the angel wings and what have you that goes behind I think these are like little fur bits and then you've got the angel's trumpet well I hope that that's right I think that's the halo and there's her little face there so I think this is probably one of those that people may worry about making so I'm going to do the gingerbread mitten tomorrow and I'm going to do the angel and see if she'll look nice on that lace panel that I cut yesterday so we'll do that one and then next up is a little bit of steampunk so that cutting foil or cutting any cardstock that you want to and you can grunge that up and make it look coppery with a little bit of verdigris you've got the little steampunk um, cogs there so that's a really cute one that's an interesting size because that would look really good for an ATC so let's have a look at that that's four inches by two and three quarters so you could absolutely use that on an ATC if you were looking at making a steampunk type one and of course everything sized so that it will fit you know because sometimes you can use really large dies and for ATCs you end up having to crop them down but that was you know the scale would absolutely fit an ATC so that's a really cute one and then we've got another one and this one's quite interesting because I don't have a clue what it is it kind of, I can see that it's a lady. I don't know if you can see that there. So it is a lady. They may be butterfly type wings. We've got a fairy type dress. We've got a hairstyle. And we've got her legs going on. That's kind of like almost flame looking or flower looking. So I'm going to have to, um, obviously, because I'll put the links below and then I'll be able to go and see it. But I think that's one that needs to be made. So I'll probably come up and uh, make these for Thursday, Friday. But she's quite interesting, actually. So that is what I've got for you today. So tomorrow, I'll just drag them up. I'm going to be uh, doing the gingerbread in the mittens because that one looks really easy. And then this one, not so easy, but it just looks really lovely. And I think because of the height, I'm kind of like, I haven't looked at it on the website yet. So I'm kind of like guessing the kind of size of that onto my panel. I'm thinking that's going to be, when finished, maybe about five inches tall. So I'm going to try for that one and uh, see how that looks. But I really do like that. But anyway, I thank you so much for joining me today. And as usual, all links below. Bye.